just gonna want to talk to you guys about how it's like owning a Corso and what my experience was. So, Uso was the last one of the litter. I didn't get to pick. He was a chunky boy. I have some pictures. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll put it up on the screen right now so you guys can see how he looked. But when I first, my experience, okay, so I'm just gonna tell you how it was exactly when I first got to the breeder's house. <clears throat> got there, when she finally showed me Uso, took her a while, didn't bring the puppy out until after a while. And so we went outside to the front yard in this little place. When I met Uso for the first time, this guy was growling at me. He was straight up growling at me and didn't want anything to do with me. And I thought that was the coolest thing never in my life experienced a puppy of his size at the time and to already have those guarding instincts because that's what attracted me the most about this dog breed was the, the aggressiveness you know straight power and so you know either way I was gonna get the dog no matter how the personality was I really didn't as a beginner I didn't focus on the personality it was more just the look how the dog looked Uso was big chunky had a nice mean looking face so I got him and um, it, it was a challenge man it was a challenge raising him high energy my training was new you know I'm a new I was a new beginner trainer so I'm sure I did a lot of things wrong but through the ups and downs the failing and success we have been able to develop an unstoppable unbeatable relationship and bond and so now, man, it is a dream to have this guy in my daily life. He's so relaxed, so chill, easy to take care of. He does his duties, barks, checks out the perimeter. He doesn't want anything to do with any of my family members. He'll say hi. He'll greet them, you know, he'll take food from them. But the moment they tell him to do something, he walks away. He's just not interested. And I love that, honestly. I love being the one that controls him. It's, it's, a, it's a great feeling to see other people struggle with having a connection with my dog. And I can control him with just hand signals. All right, you guys. My uh, battery's about, to, my camera's about to die. So I just felt the need to kind of talk about my experience. Uso, hey, sit. Sit, sit, stop it, stop moving, sit down. Bro, sit down. Sit. Yes. That a boy. We're just gonna run the camera until it dies. Plots. Oh, there's a siren. He might. He might out. No. 
Oh, and the siren went away. Damn. That would have been nice for you guys to see. So in conclusion, it was hard work raising this guy. But it's so worth it. I gotta make a I gotta make a video clip of how he is with the other family members around the house. Because remember, I raised them by myself for the first two years of his life in an apartment, and then after two years, moved in with my parents, and um, you know, it was a uh, it was a process getting my dog used to everyone in the house and teaching my family members how to approach him and what signs to look for. You know, it's a big responsibility, you guys, if to own a Connie Corso. With great reward comes great responsibility. Or is it great success? I'm not sure. Hey, bro. Sit down for me real se one second. See, so like, he knows I'm just playing around, right? And then you give him the serious voice. Sit! And then if you give him, like, that secondary language that only you and him know, it's game over. Watch. Plots! Oh, he's lazy. He, he don't want to make eye contact. Focus. I see. <laughs>